I was thinking here, maybe ethical might be in English, might sound a little bit stronger, a little bit harsher maybe than in Portuguese. I mean, but when I'm talking about an ethical, I, I mean, with ethics, I mean, how well synchronized is mm -hmm. your uh, one synthony with what they do, and then, then it comes. Now, this mm -hmm. doesn't this, uh, I was listening to what you were saying here, doesn't this take us also to the item of transcendence, personal transcendence? Mm -hmm kind of living my values, aspiring to be doing things that have a, a more collective, a more a, a larger meaning than just my specific subsistence, my specific individual needs. Doesn't, isn't there a, a, a taste, a touch of transcendence? Mm. The yeah, the sense of something greater than myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I find that idea quite comforting, really, and quite um, um, motivating and uh, inspiring. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm part of something larger. And there's a, a bigger spectrum of things, and uh, my acts, my actions can have consequences, and I suffer the consequences of other people's acts gives me the impression that it's kind of transcending. It take it can well dealt with. It can take us to some kind of a higher level of maybe existence in the sense in the in the Sartrean sense, as Jean-Paul Sartre, mm -hmm. the, the existential mm -hmm. in, in the, uh, taking our existence into a does it make any sense? Mm, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. And um yeah, I mean, I, I would agree with you in, in my own experience and certainly working with other people mm -hmm. that, you know, as I, as I, or you said, I, I work on human flourishing, right? That's what's interesting to me is how do human beings live their best lives yeah. in the unique context we find ourselves in? And as that context shifts and, you know, certainly, um, you know, what we seem to find is that part of human flourishing is that um, there's something that's meaningful. And usually what people find deep meaning in is something greater than ourselves, whether that's through spirituality or, um, you know, just through the way we conduct ourselves that, um, you know, it's not, it's, it's not just about me, right? <laughs> and yeah. it really more that we feel it's just about me, 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 usually the more anxious and depressed people become, right? Yeah. Uh, the more that we kind of expand beyond that. And this is where we get into compassion and that sort of thing. The more we expand beyond that and see the the bigger picture, the the common humanity and the sense of tr transcendence, as, as you yeah. say, usually the better people feel, I find. Mm -hmm. And I would I would risk uh, I just want want to check if 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 you agree with in your experience makes sense to this but this idea of transcendence this idea of more collective kind of it's extremely healthy it's it, it, mm. health enhancing I mean mm. we can take better decisions we can make better decisions we can take better care of ourselves and uh, principally there's something that always occurs to me is uh, we can take ourselves for granted mm. we kind of we cease to be surprised with ourselves mm. and that for me sounds and I would I would love to hear your opinion. My personal one, my experiences, that could be extremely uh, boring. If I cannot be surprised at myself anymore, if I cannot be surprised by life, things can get tedious. To, mm. And uh, I once wrote that um, boring, tedious, uh, tedious experience is stressful. To be mm. bored is to be stressed. Mm. Just mm. 
make the picture. I mean, if I work on something that's boring me, I get stressed. Yes, yes, yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, to be bored is not a very healthy experience, kind of, so to say. And then you have some experiences with the, unfortunately, with some uh, uh, guinea pigs, uh, experimental situations. Um, and you and you check you see the the the, the changes you have in the neuroendocrine uh, axis mm -hmm. yeah. with, with that. 